G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean and today we're taking a look at another Kamer Anko gaming product. This is the Gaming 7.1 Virtual Premium Headset. It actually goes for $69, which is pretty expensive for a Kamer product, really. Um, I've been trying to get my hands on these though for a number of weeks and we finally have them here in the studio because they actually look like a pretty serious pair of um, headphones. So we'll get them out of the box, see what the construction's like, see what they feel like, and then we'll switch see what they sound like, do some test recordings on the microphone, and at the end of the video, I'll let you know whether or not you should be actually considering going out and getting these. If you guys like the Kmart stuff, the Kmart videos that I'm making, chuck it a like, get subscribed, because there'll definitely be more, and uh, let's begin. Okay, so let's get this headset out of the box. Uh, but before I do that, actually, let's just go through what is actually mentioned on the outside of the box here. So gaming 7.1 virtual premium headset, soft cushion ear, ear pad, sorry, virtual 7.1 surround sound card, RGB light on the ear pad as well. And then on the back here, it says 53 millimeter speaker drivers with virtual 7.1 sound, inline controller for microphone and volume, flexible microphone boom, supports Windows 7, 8 and 10. Um, and a USB plug cable length is 2.1 meters and you can see from like the outside of the box here like this pair of headphones looks pretty pretty decent um, technical specifications obviously we've mentioned the 53 millimeter drivers impedance is 64 15 percent ohms 98 dB plus 3 dB 20 Hertz 20 kilohertz so that's actually going to give us a pretty deep um, sound for like the bass and then a pretty you know, nice reproduction hopefully of the highs. Um, virtual 7.1 surround sound card, 2.1 meter braided cable and that's pretty much it and it mentions that you know high volume can you know uh, what did it say? High volume can cause hearing loss, your ears are important. Listening at high volume for a prolonged period may damage your hearing. Do not listen to headphones at high volume. Okay so <laughs> very very clear that you know they want you to not have these going at 100% all the time. All right, so let's do the cut, get these guys out of the box and see what they're actually like. Like I said, I'm very excited about these, but also like kind of cautious because $69, like they have to be good because you're really competing with some actual decent brands like Logitech and Corsair um, and you know, some, some other ones that actually make some, some decent headphones at that price point. So, you know, packaging wise, nothing special, just a piece of plastic and your headphones. And then you've got obviously your, your USB plug for connection and then your inline controller for your, you know, sound effects and RGB, microphone, mute, volume up and down. So that's there. And then the headphones. So let's just get these out. That's literally it, just the headphones and that piece of plastic. Um, a user manual basically tells you how to connect it, how to get it installed. There's a link to where to download the software from. There's no like little CD like I've seen some of their, some of their other headphones. Um, but on first impression, so this part here is all like a soft, a soft touch plastic. This is actually metal, which is pretty decent. Um, headband feels fine. It's got a little bit of cushion there. It's like a soft kind of like fake leather. Um, ear cups again, so like a soft sort of fake leather. Um, quite a bit of padding for the ear cups as well. And then assuming there's some adjustability so they can you know, pull all the way out like so. And then on the other side, you can see here, you've got the little braided um, you know, speaker cable going to each one of the ear cups. Um, there's no rotation on them. So they're just gonna literally go onto the side of your head and that's it, so you can't really rest them on your chest. Um, the ear cups do, you know, tilt a little bit so that way they sort of fit and mold to your head. But overall, the actual feel and fit and finish is not too bad. There's no real creaks or anything like that. They don't really twist too much. Like there's a little bit of twist there, but these are gonna like, I think, stand up pretty well to the abuse that they'll probably cop. Um, the actual microphone that comes out of the left ear cup it's got a bit of flexibility to it. It's not like one of those retractable ones or detachable, which would have been nice. But the fact that it is like on this little boom arm that you can actually have it fixed into a certain position so you can sort of bend it and wrap it around to the front of your mouth is quite nice. But overall, it's 
pretty good solid pair of headphones. It just would have been nice, in my opinion, to have that the cup rotation um, and maybe the microphone to come in and out. In terms of like, you know, everything else, the cable, 2.1 meters, that's pretty long. So if you're plugging this maybe into your PlayStation or your Xbox or your computer, if you're sitting quite a far way away from it, 2.1 meters is a pretty hefty amount of cable to give you. Um, the cable is not detachable at all. The inline controller, again, is not detachable. So there's no way you can just have an AUX three and a half millimeter plug, which would have been nice to be quite fair with you. I would have liked the option to like get rid of the virtual surround sound card inline control and just have my own AUX cable going in. Um, but let's see how they fit. So I've got the cups basically all the way extended, put them on, got the microphone sort of wrapped around. Actually, they're not super heavy. They actually feel pretty comfortable, if I'm honest with you. Um, they don't clamp super hard, which is sometimes what you get with a brand new pair of headphones. They clamp really, really tight because it takes a bit of time for them to sort of like loosen up. But these ones don't necessarily clamp very hard at all. So that's good because you can kind of get you know used to them pretty quickly and you don't feel like you need to break them in. Um, some headphones don't actually ever lose that that really tight tension on the side of the head, but these actually feel like pretty nice. Um, I don't know what they look like on camera because I haven't really looked at this footage yet, but they but they seem to be like kind of like an aviator kind of style. Like I feel like I'm on an airplane a little bit. I'm like the pilot and I'm like talking to people. Um, but this microphone that you can move it around is nice. Got a little pop filter on the end of it. We'll have to see how that sounds. But in terms of comfort, I'd probably give them like a solid seven and a half out of 10. Like I've tried on some more expensive headphones from other brands that are not this comfortable. I think the other thing though, is that this ear cut material, this kind of fake leather or whatever, um, is probably gonna get quite hot in summertime, kind of sweaty as well. So that's something that we'll have to see after we actually play some games and have them on for a few hours. But you know, I get actually not too much digging in in the top of my head either. Like there's a good amount of comfort here as well. It just would have been nice if I could have like taken them off and then like had the cups, like I feel like I'm being choked right now, um, have the cups actually like rotate and be like on my chest. But it's not the end of the world. $69 for a pair of headphones, maybe I'm being a bit too critical. But the only reason why is, you know, Kmart's made some great stuff for like 30, 35, $40 and it's been absolutely amazing. So for $70 from Kmart, I'm expecting a lot. But let's get these you know, plugged into the computer. Let's see how easy it is to set up and then most importantly, how they sound and what the microphone's like. All right, so here we are in the studio. We've got the Anko gaming headset hooked up to the PC. Everything that you're hearing right now is being recorded through the headset using the built-in microphone. I've actually already sort of had a test and had a play and um, I think the microphone sounds outstanding at this price point, $69. This microphone sounds better than some headsets that cost double or even more than this. Um, so definitely a good job on the uh, microphone. Um, aesthetically on camera, like the RGB looks pretty nice. Um, you've got this inline control here and you can basically, you know, switch through the different cycles. I think there's five modes. Um, but I think this static sort of RGB one looks the nicest. The matte aesthetic, I don't know, the aviation kind of style they're going for with the, the metal and the little, you know, cables here for each ear cup. I think it looks really nice. And playing games, uh, listening to music, listening to hip hop, pop, dance, rock, um, consuming YouTube content, it actually all sounds really good. I would say that the probably, uh, if I had a weakness in terms of sound, it would be the bass, and it usually is for cheap headphones. Um, the 53 millimeter drivers do make up for it a little bit, but you definitely feel like with the bass, it just doesn't really have that that punch like some of the other headphones um, that I have tested, like for example, the ASUS $99 headphones. Um, they're a little bit more punchy with the bass. These are pretty good all-rounders, I would say. If you're gonna be using them for a whole mix and a whole variety of things, these actually do sound pretty good. Very, very simple to use. Just honestly, just plug and play. You don't need to muck around with drivers or anything like that. Very, very, very simple. 
And I honestly think that for the comfort, like how they feel after wearing them for like, you know, an hour or two, they're not super uncomfortable. Um, you know, for me as an adult, I do feel like maybe they could have made this part a little bit longer, but that's pretty much it. I think for the vast majority of people, this is going to be perfectly fine, especially if you're a young teenager or something like that, which is probably who um, is the customer for these pair of headphones. And I do wish that you like when you took them off and put them on your chest, you could sort of rest them flat. But other than that, like these headphones look, feel, sound pretty much, I guess, as good as you can get for $69. Um, the cheaper ones that I've tried from Kmart, which cost around about 40 the microphone was very, very similar, but the sound was definitely much weaker. The sound is definitely a step up on these $69 ones, and I definitely can't see too many people being too upset um, for a $69 pair of headphones about you know the sound quality and everything else. It would have been nice if they gave you the option of you know, having an AUX connection. But at the end of the day, I mean, you can plug this into your console, into your PC, and you're going to have a pretty seamless um, and enjoyable experience, I think. So let me know what you guys think about these headphones. I think the microphone is definitely a standout. Comfort is really, really good. Sound quality is great. Just a little bit weak in the bass, and I say weak only by a little bit. Just not super punchy, but other than that, really, really good headphones for $69. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video. Chuck a comment if you have any questions or you just want to leave some feedback. Get subscribed for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.